All right, so we got five best and worst things about college football 25. Scratch the video. Let's about go. the five best. Things about college right. football 25. I'm gonna give my own opinion as well. Right now, um, looking at feedback I like the end and in between well, the so commentary. A list of things the game shines at and things that need some work. And over the years, <coughs> I've grown to learn that people view these games very differently. Something that you may think is very important, somebody else might not care about at all, and vice True. versa. So I believe True. it's important to touch on all of these things because not everybody plays the game the same way. I might also, pause it, by the way. Some copies of the game officially to give away. I've got a few for Xbox and a few for PlayStation. So make sure to follow me on my social medias. I'll be doing a post on each of them later tonight, and it'll run throughout the weekend so that people have plenty of time to enter. Now, before we get into the list, let me first start by saying that I do think this is a very good game. It's a game that i'm having a ton of fun it is with. it's the most i agree I've had on a football game in many many years probably over a decade there's been a couple mad saying bro madden 13 was the last good mat like madden 13 was like the last good football game first of all if you guys are new here i usually don't pause the video but i'm gonna pause it because i got a lot to say about this madden 13 was like the last great madden that i played um every madden ever since i mean i wouldn't say it's like trash or whatever but every like it doesn't hit, you know, it doesn't hit the same as like Madden 13, so. Games here and there that I have really enjoyed, but nothing like this. I don't even want to put this game down. However, that doesn't mean every single thing about the game is up to par, and we're going to talk about that in this video. Now, first, let's start with the five best things, in my opinion. Number one, without a doubt, is the gameplay. True. The thing that you've seen probably True. the most about this game. Now, that doesn't mean that every single person thinks the gameplay is good. I've seen some people say that they think the gameplay is trash. Again, it all goes <laughs> back to everybody kind of views these games differently. Some people people see a certain issue with the gameplay that just completely kills it for them whereas other people it might not be as big of a deal to me and i think to many others the gameplay is the thing that shines the most with this game it feels fun it feels rewarding is it the most sim game of all time no but it has a lot of fun elements to it and i think i can that agree on the that best way in my opinion to have a football or just a sports game in general i think you need to have a balance if it's way too far to the side of being a hundred percent simulation you run yeah. into an issue of it being fun for the mass audience and then True. if it's too far arcade it's just wonky and it's not fun to play either there's a lot of aspects of this game that live up but sometimes though, that that makes the best game zone sometimes you need it sometimes like you need a sports game so like for example um nfl street nfl street is is straight arcade uh nfl blitz straight arcade those are arcade games those are i mean obviously whenever it comes to like football like that's the realism about it is like you know the game football but Whenever it comes, like you know, to like the actual gameplay, NFL Blitz, NFL Street, those games are, bro. You running off the walls. You're like, bro. If you got Randy Moss, bro, like you can just throw it up. Randy Moss would just hop off the wall and catch with one hand without looking like it was crazy. So, like, you know, I kind of disagree on that because you know, some games, some football games that are like extremely arcadey are some of the fun. But again, this is my opinion. But you know, but uh, some some arcade games, uh, especially arcade football games, are like you know some like the best. Uh, football games ever in my opinion but okay the simulation like the pass trajectories with the revamp passing which i think is a great feature you can get really good pass leads you can really get good arc on the ball you can put the ball pretty much where you want it the wear and tear system is another great addition to the gameplay that feels very real you have to monitor the hits that your players are taking you want to be careful uh, with them otherwise they can get injured or they can i feel a little indifferent about that the wear and tear too many painful hits or getting tackled too much this adds a level of realism that we just haven't had in a football okay. game from ea Sports that makes sense ever. yeah makes sense. other great gameplay Additions that lend to sim football like being able to disguise your coverage shells or being able to have access to more hot routes because in the past you had a limited number of hot routes now you can make custom routes, routes which any qb in real life would have the ability to do now you have the ability to do that in the game you can yep. also adjust the depth of these routes again another great feature for gameplay that's fire all of that the game I agree. feels fun on field the jukes and spins are very rewarding they are a little arcadey at times but that makes the game fun this is the most fun playing game i think i've ever played i and agree sim of all I agree. Know, but it is the most fun. I the agree. These mostly seem rewarding and not too overpowered so far. The playbooks are great and unique across the board, giving you a bunch. Some abilities are overpowered. Especially uh, people who have like the uh, who have like the hit stick um, ability, like like the uh, like the like the hit ability. Yeah, those are uh, those are bro. If they touch you fumble, if they bro, if they bump against you fumble, they don't even have to hit stick you. If they nudge you, fumble. These little defensive abilities overpower. Different ways to play and scheme. And the whole but that's another story. Feels terrifying and tough to go up against. And I can't leave out the switch stick. Maybe oh my god! I can't wait. Hey, to one more pause. I'm sorry. I cannot wait to talk about that stadium pulse, bro. It's gonna be a long video, bro. In an EA Sports game. 
since the hit stick. The switch stick is a generational feature that will change how defense is played in this game forever. Basically, you could switch around on your players post snap before the QB throws the ball to really take your defense to the next level. And it's that was a bad throw feature so far. I'm not running into a lot of warping. I'm not running into a lot of wonky stuff that we've seen sometimes over the years with Madden. Agreed, Everything agreed. feels pretty rewarding. Everything feels pretty satisfying. Obviously, there are still a couple issues with the gameplay. Blocking at times can be better. The pursuit, which we'll talk Man. about later in the video. <laughs> the blocking, bro. Oh, my God. The coverage could play a little tighter. But overall, this game is too much fun to play for me to get hung up over those couple of things about gameplay. I agree, yeah. Perfect. I agree. Now, really quickly, before we continue with the rest of the video, I do want to mention that we are still sponsored by Underdog Fantasy. Underdog Fantasy? sports and you like winning money i'm gonna let him i'm gonna let him play this out i'm gonna turn it down while i play but uh bro that stadium pulse i can the uh pulse i can't wait to talk about that um what else to talk about oh yeah that defensive hit stick stuff brother oh my goodness but he is right about though like like the like the hit stick uh not the hit stick sorry the juke the spin very rewarding bro very rewarding bro so i'm i'm just talking you know to try to go over this ad you know i don't want to obviously i'm using this guy's video so i don't want to skip over the ad give you up to 250 dollars in bonus cash to play with and you just can't beat that i've never like gambled before list, presentation without a doubt they presentation really nailed every team of being unique in this game no true i mean that every single thing is perfect no there's a couple instances here or there where they missed something or they got a small detail wrong but yeah but it shouldn't matter though spot on and we know that with the years to come they're going to keep building on this a lot of teams have very unique intros that are true to what they do in real life true they have their band songs their crowd chants a lot of teams have their mascots and we even have two announced crews in the game on top of all that so the commentary doesn't get stale now i will say a slight critique here of the commentary is it doesn't quite feel alive enough it could be better it does also feel just slightly delayed at times i know that chris fowler did come out and say that he is actually re-recording a good amount of lines for this game because even he felt that he wasn't saying it with enough energy so that's good to know that they're already tweaking i respect that things to make it better but overall top to bottom this is some of the best presentation we have seen in a football game in a very long time i agree I mean, even down to the fact that some schools have real licensed music that plays during the game for them or the fact that when you score a touchdown in certain stadiums you'll hear a cannons go off or you'll hear the crowd do a certain chant just like they do in real life i they agree really knocked it out of the park with presentation and on top of that i'll just throw the graphics in with that as well the game looks beautiful from it does. the shine and the scuffs on it the helmets does. to the puddles that splash up when they're running in the rain. even the field bro like some fields look crazy i remember like uh if somebody goes to this school or whatever comment down below if you do but um that it was just like this blue field i don't know if that's like the florida gators field or whatever but that blue football field bro looks absolutely crazy bro i'm loving that I mean, they really did a phenomenal job organs cracked hey, at this games by the way i'm just video, saying you haven't subscribed yet you might as well go ahead shout out to uh to eric uh ray weather part of the family anyway I'm make sure you guys subscribe oh yo make sure you you know subscribe to the channel too okay sub soon so if everybody watching just subscribe we could hit that number in a few days Number three, the college football playoff mode. Probably my current favorite thing oh, about yeah. this game. This is the online. I haven't really been online like teams, that. But the format they've created for this is a lot of fun. It's basically a mini season, and after you win a certain amount of games, you get put into a college football playoff bracket with yeah. other users that are in your kind of same skill ranking level online. Then you go through that and you try to win the national championship. The more you win, the higher you rank up in divisions and just in the overall leaderboard. Now, how you rank up in this mode has a bunch of different factors. Obviously, winning is the most important. Important, but if you're playing with lower overall teams and beating better teams, you're actually going to get more ranking. Whereas if you're playing with a better team and you're beating an equal team or a lesser team, you're not going to rank up as much. But another detail that I love about this. I mean, see how I feel about that is if that's the case, then the matchmaking should be better Then the matchmaking should be way better if that's the case. Because let's say I have a overall team of eight, uh, of eight, uh, sorry, yeah, 80 overall. And I match up with somebody, and I match up with a 90 overall, um, like, you know, team or whatever. And I beat that team. Obviously, like, their rank is going to go down and my rank is going to go up, even though, like, I beat, like, a better team, which makes sense. You know, if my team's less and their team's uh, more overall rated and I beat their team, I should go up, right? Um, but at the same time, though, if I match with somebody that's around my overall and I beat them, I think I should still, like, you know, like, I understand, like, oh, you're not going to rank up as much. But at the end of the day, though, if that's the case, then the matchmaking is a little, uh, you know, they'll be like the matchmaking fault. It's not my fault. Like, I don't, I'm not picking my opponents. Like, I'm, at, I'm automatically getting my opponents. So, like, I, I mean, I don't know if I should just pray for somebody that's like a thousand times better than me or who has like a thousand times better team and, and, they just, and just pray that I beat them. Or I should just, you know, play against people that's around me and beat them, but like only go up a little bit. You get what I'm saying? So, like, it's all about like, 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 you know, what team the online wants to give you. So. 
mode is that they've split the teams up into that's not really teams. our fault so example, I'm just, that's what i'm trying to, to, to say lower rated tier three team you can also choose to search for only other users that are playing with a tier three team so if you want to oh, mix it up and play okay. with a small school that isn't very good you okay. don't have to worry about going up against a team like alabama if you don't want to okay he just proved what i okay he just proved wrong what i just said okay the only drawback from this mode is that they will not allow you to change your playbooks you have to play with the playbook of the team you're using now depending on who you are that's you yucky like that. some people really love that i do think it makes it pretty interesting and a little bit of fun but overall i would vote to change the playbooks because i think that's a really agree. important part of online gaming especially in a football game is that's, just a, bro, that's a part of madden online. what are we talking about they'll, they'll update this but overall the mode is a ton of fun number four recruiting this is definitely the best part about dynasty mode and trust me we'll get to i have not been dynasty on dynasty mode minute, to be honest with you recruiting i think they've done a phenomenal job with this and it seems like that's what they put the majority of their time into for dynasty mode for the first iteration of this game which makes sense because that is really the most important thing about the mode the recruiting is is a ton of fun it's definitely challenging as a small school, yeah i'm not really not into the whole dynasty thing name recruit, if i'm being honest with you still happen it's very in-depth down to being able to dm players talk to their family you can send the house at them you learn more about them you try to hard sell them you can even try to persuade a guy away from another school to yours i think this is actually one of the best well you can do that game, and it's something that does make dynasty offer scholarship else and number five team, team builder, builder. Okay. team builder launched a little bit later than we thought but man i had a ton of fun with this already i've already got multiple teams in the game and i've been looking through all the other these modes like these like like custom team like kind of like uh nba 2k how like you can make like your own like team and stuff like that i love those modes bro because bro you could like make any like you can like pick any like small town that you're from or whatever and like give your hometown like a like a team whatever i think that's really fun i think that's really cool user generated teams and it's crazy i love when like sports games do that so I, I like that a lot detailed i mean we've got smaller college schools being put in the game they look pretty much spot on i put my old high school in the game i made another fiction yeah, that's team. crazy i had a ton of fun with this and although the website is a little buggy at times some people are having some issues for sure especially in the chrome web browser overall there's a lot of different options here that you can choose to create the team that you want the only real drawback of this is they have no generic stadium so you have to use another team stadium although there I are mean, it is what it is number of regular stadiums that don't have a ton of branding on them so you can kind of get away with this but i would like to see them add some generic choices here for sure or just give us a stadium creator which i think at some point that's something they do want to do that would take us over the top but as it stands right now team builder i think is pretty in-depth and it's a lot of fun and i'm already seeing some crazy creations in the game now let's start with the five worst uh -oh. things about the game and unfortunately uh -oh. the first one on this list we have to talk about the issues with dynasty mode let me name some of mine's off. Can I? Should I name mine's off now, or should I just let his play and then I'll name some of mine's off? Number one, the uh, the stadium pulse, brother. That is the most. You don't even have to have good defense. If if you have home field advantage, brother, you automatically have ninety nine overall defense, bro. It's sickening. It's honestly sickening on how crazy that stadium pulse is. I'm bro, some of your route, bro. You can have a guy wide open, and he can have a question mark over his receiver. Like, bro, what do you like? What like, huh? And then if it, here's the thing though, like you only have two seconds to guess, like you know what um what button it is, because if you don't guess it, boom, sack. You look over, he got a question mark, you might as well look towards like another receiver. Now, I don't think crazy. Dynasty overall is a bad mode. I think it's at least decent right now. If they can clean up some of these bugs, it'll be solid. Let me start by saying that, again, this is the first iteration of this game. They're not springboarding from NCAA 14. This is completely ground yeah, up yeah. new game. Completely NCAA new, yeah. 13 and 14 had great Dynasty modes, but it took many years to get there. I think with College Football 25, they've got a good starting point, but they got to clean up some of the issues and they got to fix some of the oversight. I think we're recruiting they did a really good job with this and it really appears that that's what they put most of their time into when developing this mode and i can imagine why i'm sure it takes a long time to code that level of recruiting into the game and have it work properly and without yeah. recruiting you just can't have a good dynasty mode so it was imperative to get that right and then things like the transfer portal but i think along the way they missed out on some other things that i know we'll get in the future but it is a little bit of a bummer to not have that now when we had them in older games there are some things that are missing that would be really good for the mode like a trophy room or 
the ability to view some of the league history. You also can't uh, play okay. as non-user controlled teams, so you can't play the national championship if you're not in it, which is something a lot of people like to do. Again, those are things I think will definitely come to the mode. I think a lot of time was put into things like recruiting and the transfer portal, and you just uh, cannot really put this game out without those things being done well. And at some point, you gotta stop working and release the game. You can't keep pushing it back forever. So I do think those things true. will come, but the main issue with Dynasty right now are some of the bugs, like the sim engine, like the progression happening. I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm not really on Dynasty like that, so a lot of a lot of things that he's talking about, I mean, those are for you guys. I'm not really on Dynasty like that. Way too fast. Like Just the being college honest. football playoff rankings being completely out of whack. The sim engine definitely needs a patch, and I believe they are going to be patching that soon along with the college football playoffs. But essentially, with the sim engine, you're having lower rated teams just beat really good teams way too much. You're seeing good teams lose a little too often. You're seeing FCS schools beat powerhouses too often, and that breaks the immersion for a lot of people. The college football playoff rankings seem completely and out of whack. And he's really whack. passionate about these, about these dynasty. To the actual playoff, it seems to be correct then, which is good. But leading up to that, you really have no idea where people are ranked and it kind of makes monitoring i'm not really like familiar with this why that's why like, i'm not adding any uh commentary right now I, I, i'm not really familiar with it if you iron those two things out alone this mode becomes infinitely better the other issue is the progression seems way too man fast. he bro he's bro team you pick, it's bro he's passionate about this dynasty bro bro he's passionate about this i don't know if, if that's like his main content is like the dynasty mode or season mode or whatever and like madden or whatever i'm new to his channel but bro, you can tell he's passionate about this dynasty mode. But it's good though because he's letting he's letting EA know like the things that they need to that they need to fix. So you know what? I'm not, like by year two, I'm not complaining year three, about it. You're significantly better, and by year three, you're pretty much a round championship contender no matter which school you pick. Now maybe that's done intentionally because I think a lot of people that play these modes are also casuals and they want to win a championship quick. So maybe that is done by design. But you gotta also factor in there's a lot of hardcore people that play this mode and they don't want to take a bottom of the barrel school and be able to get a championship in year three. I mean they want to at least get five six years in at least and i think if the sliders worked properly this is something that could be tweaked so that both sides can get what they want the casuals can get a quick championship but the hardcore guys can make it more difficult these are a few things that if they can fix this mode is infinitely better. They, hey but he passionate about this dynasty mode because of these things the number two worst thing is Road to Glory is still lacking. Now, I do think this is better than Madden Superstar mode. The off-the-field stuff is pretty mm. cool with managing your GPA and your health and your brand and the text messages and all that stuff's cool. It definitely keeps you coming back and it keeps it interesting. But nah. 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 Because I can't lie to you. Guess what? Your first year, you're not getting played. <laughs> Your first year, you are not getting no play time. As a matter of fact, you might as well, bro. As a matter of fact, bro, if you're on the sideline, listen, you might as well just do homework, bro. You might as well just hurry up, get homework done so you can go home and, and, and like, get some extra hours of sleep. Because, bro, your first year, you, bro, if you go to a big school, you're not getting played. You are not getting any play, bro, no PT for you. You might as well do your homework on the bench, bro. You are not getting playtime. Now, if you go to, like, a small school, um, then, you know, that could work for you. You know, obviously, if you're, like, a, if you, bro, if you're, like, a, if don't ever in your life, don't ever in your life pick underdog. Don't ever in your life, whatever they uh, say, oh, pick the, pick your type of player, uh, elite, uh, underdog, whatever. Do not pick underdog, bro, because you're not getting any playtime. I'm just being honest with you. The problem is... It a little bit less than we had with the You're old not. games. You don't I'm have sorry. the school portion, which obviously wasn't really good in the old games, but it still should be here. I think if they bring that back, they need to do it right. I like the system of this game where you could look at this. See, see this? Elite blue chip contributor under all. If you pick this, you're not getting played. If you pick this, you can get played. But if you do pick elite, you have to pick a bum school. Sorry, I don't mean to I don't mean to offend anybody, but you have to pick a bum school if you want to get PT. Because if you pick elite and you go to Michigan, guess what? You'll never play. You'll never play, bro. You'll play with the Shanghai, the Shanghai football team. Oh, bro, I promise you. You will, bro, you'll play for the London Lions, okay? <laughs> and London. You'll never play for the NFL, bro. If you ever pick elite and you go in like a elite school, you're not playing. I promise you. If you pick underdog, you're not playing. You're not. You're going to be playing practice for three years. Pick to be whatever. I'm sorry. Because that's the truth. With the old games, I mean, it was hard to be a bad recruit because it was so easy to play. You could pretty much end up. But you're gonna be doing calculus on the sideline, bro. You you're not. Start at the bottom and really grind up. And let me tell you, if you start at the bottom, it's tough to even get playing time on some of these schools, which I think is real. What did I just say?
realistic and cool but if you bring back high school in a future game maybe next year make it similar to where you can pick which star recruit you start off at so if you want to just start off as like this super good high school guy and dominate you can or you can start lower and try to build Me. up and get a higher star ranking throughout the season make it objective based make it something bro that's not just pick a school that's that, that that's interesting that you like really thing i would recommend with bringing high school back is allow me to create my high school with team builder and import that into the mode that would be super awesome if i'm I trying to see if he's going to mention what i think he's going to mention road to glory that would be great the other issue with road to glory is it's still lacking positions and this is really because the madden superstar mode is lacking positions as well and these I modes mean, need to work together because you transfer your i mean but like okay all right well let's okay i disagree you know why because let's let's keep it real Let, let's let's all keep it real okay you got quarterback, uh, running back, uh, wide receiver, middle linebacker, and cornerback. So that's offense, 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 offense. Sorry, offense, 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 defense, defense. Let's keep it real. When you're on defense, who are you going to control? Before before the snap, you're going to control either the... I'm just talking about just regular play now. Let's just say regular, just play now, team versus team. Whenever you're playing defense, you're playing either as a linebacker, which is me. I play as like the either the linebacker or I play as like the uh, I play as like the um wide receiver, not wide receiver, sorry, uh safety or cornerback. That's what I play as. They, they if, listen, if they're gonna add any position, they should add like a safety, like a free safety or something like that. But other than that, like if you're on offense, right, like and you were to like make a like create a character, you're gonna either choose to be the quarterback, the running back, or the wide receiver. Yes, they could. Sure, they can add the tight end position. Great. So that's one. They can add in the the uh, the safety for the defense. That's two. Other than that, bro, nobody's gonna play as the as like a defensive lineman. I mean, if you want to, you want to. But most people, they're not gonna play as a as a defensive lineman. Uh, most people are not gonna play as an offensive lineman. Um, so I mean, if you wanna add in the tight man, uh, I said the tight man. Uh, pause. Uh, the tight end or the um or like the safety, then cool. But other than that, like, no one's, come on, like, I, I think most people are going to pick these positions, you know. Player. You can be a quarterback, running back, wide receiver, middle linebacker, or cornerback. At the very least, you need to have options for pass rusher and safety. And I would even throw tight end and kicker in there. Outside of that, I really wouldn't complain too much. But you definitely got to add more positions. I don't think anybody wants to be a kicker, bro, especially in this game. Here, give it a little bit more variety and give people more reasons to play through as different positions the number three worst thing is the limited customization now on one hand we have kicking in it, bro like kicking in this game is hell bro. really inside dynasty mode editing players that's where the customization is limited and okay we were going into this well before the game came out that it was going to be that way because of the nil players and also ea being a little overprotective let's be honest they want this game to be out there be successful and keep producing it it's got a target on its back for easy lawsuits so i do think in the first year or two True. they're going to be a little overprotective about things and they may open it up later but we knew going in that this was going to be that way so on one hand i don't know why people are freaking out so much because it was pretty well documented that this was going to happen however there are a couple instances that i feel like they should be able to adjust number one you can't edit players numbers inside of dynasty mode that seems a little off to me you can edit their names but you can't edit their numbers it almost feels backwards the numbers should be the thing you should definitely be able to edit okay I, 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 recruits, i'll give him that edit their ratings i don't really see why i'll give him that to edit recruits ratings i'll give him that all fictional players so i'll give him that add the ability to change numbers and add the ability to edit your recruits to some degree maybe not their names i think more people would rather be able to edit the ratings and the number than the name because obviously they don't want people creating future big name recruits who have not signed their rights over to the game yet we know True. that nil is the reason for this but i think maybe balance it a little bit better and people would have a ton more fun because this is another thing that is holding back dynasty outside of those few bugs and a couple things i'm trying to see if he's going to name it i'm trying to see if he's going to say what i think he's going to say specifically really hold it back for a lot of people so i would hope that they can reconsider this and switch this up a little bit to give us Let some more see. options with at least the recruits if nothing else the number four worst thing about the game are the pursuit angles now this is and the defense one area that i said i would talk about later gameplay i think is fun it's great i'm happy with how it is but let's be honest the pursuit in this game is pretty obviously the sore spot of gameplay and i again i don't know if this is done intentional to create more big plays we know that this is a game that feels very offensive based they want a lot of big plays. he's talking about the tackling right okay cool want crazy i stuff agree happening. I agree. That happens, but it's also I frustrating agree. when the pursuit is so bad at times that big plays are happening that just should not be happening. This True. is the one area that I would critique the most of anything True. about gameplay. Make the pursuit a little bit better, and then we'd really be cooking. But as of right now, the pursuit angles at times are really laughably bad. And the fifth worst thing about the game is there's no ESPN presentation. Now uh, we knew about I'm, this long before the game came out, so this isn't a shocker. I don't and think to that's, me, the, I don't think that's the worst thing. Actually, that bad of a thing. But again, I'm taking into account that a lot the of people thing. really did love this about. 
older games and they wanted to see it in this game i think the game's presentation overall is great and i don't really think espn is needed but if we're being fair a lot of people wanted to see it in this game and a lot of people expected to see it early on and if i had to find a fifth thing that's bad about this game because i can't find that many things to be fair i guess having no espn is the thing that i had to land on here because it's the one thing that i still see a lot of people bummed about not being in the game okay now, we talked about presentation a bit in this video and if you want to see some of the coolest shout out this game presentation shout out to eric ray weather for this now i'm going to say a couple of things that he forgot to say okay um and if he did say it then my bad um then i've just been yapping for some for some time but let me i, I want let me go on the screenshot real quick i just want to land on any screenshot and we, we can we can stay on this um let's talk about a few things right and i don't want to you know take up too much of your time i don't want to yap 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 but guess what i'm gonna yap 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 uh the tackling angles i don't know if that what he if that's what like he was talking about um but the tackling angles bro legit and they even they, bro they even said this in madden this was crazy they've even said this in madden i don't know if you guys watched like the madden deep dive or not but in the Madden Deep Dive, it was if you didn't tackle like your player the right way, if you didn't tackle him in like the right spot or area or whatever, that man can break free and run. In this game, brother, if you're not right in front of them and you hit him like like I'm talking about like a Stone Cold Steve Boston just no, bro Goldberg spear. If you don't you know Roman Reigns spear them, bro. Guess what? They're breaking those tackles. They're slipping out of the tackle and they're out of there, bro. The tackling in this game is a little questionable, bro. I will I will admit that. Because especially like if you're running, bro, and they're coming from an angle, bro. And let's say, um, let's say, um, let's say I'm running this way, right? Let's say, boom, I get the ball and I'm running this way. If a guy is coming this way, if you guys like look at look at the screen. If if I'm going this way, right, and a guy's coming this way, and we both meet, and the guy hits, bro, I'm breaking out of that tackle. Because the angle that he's tackling me at. He's not going to get the secure. I don't know why. Like, bro, in any bro, in any other Madden game, if you tackle from this angle and I'm going this way, I'm getting tackled. But, brother, if you play online, bro, and you're running, and, bro, they don't tackle you. Like, they're not right in front of you, and, they like, they don't Goldberg spear you. Bro, you're breaking that tackle, and you're out of there, bro. In this game, you can break, like, five tackles in a row and go. But, bro, if you get bumped one time, it's a fumble. The fumble, bro, the fumbles will come out of anywhere. They will come out of nowhere. It's crazy, bro. It's ridiculous if I'm being honest with you. Brother, if you're running and you even get bumped, and you get bumped, bro, not even tackled, but if you get bumped, bro, the ball is coming out. You, you're not even expecting it. It's crazy. I'm going to be honest with you. It, it, it's really crazy. Um, the Oh, the stadium pulse. If your team doesn't have defense, but you're playing at home and you're, you have home field advantage, Brother, your defense is a 99 overall. I said this earlier. The stadium pulse is at, bro, it's absolutely ridiculous. It's overpowered, bro. It is legit an advantage, bro. It's overpowered. The stadium pulse is legit, bro. It shakes the screen. Bro, your best defender will have his button missing. And so you don't even know, like, what like what route he's running because as soon as you try to check the route, the, the, it, it got, like, the squiggly line. So, like, you can kind of know, like, what, like, what route they're running, obviously. But, like, bro... Uh, they have like the little question mark on top of like the thing so you don't know what bun they are like it's absolutely crazy bro the stadium pulse is absolutely ridiculous and i think i wrote one more thing down um oh the kicking now to be honest with you for the kicking you'll get used to it like you'll you'll get the you'll get the memo but um but bro the kicking in this game bro has to be the most troubling thing that i've seen ever like at first but now i know how to do it because if you guys don't know um, whenever like you're whenever like you're about to kick or whatever you have to uh, find a spot where it's not vibrating If you have vibration on whatever on your controller and like it's vibrating whatever and you find a spot where it's not vibrating That means that you're on like the right path or whatever and you can just launch it I didn't know that at first I thought that all right since I'm at you know since I'm at this guy's stadium And my controller is legit vibrating whatever and I'm trying to like kick it whatever brother th Bro, you can kick that thing to Hong Kong like in China, bro. It's ridiculous. So I'll say like that that the kicking was a little messed up for me, but I got used to it. Um, the tackling is, is is abysmal. The tackling is abysmal. The stadium pulse is over cracked. Obviously, that's like a, it was like a, a huge new thing that I found out about. And I told you guys before it even bro, before the game even dropped, I said that the stadium pulse that is cheese, bro. 
That is cheese. As a matter of bro, we gotta bro, we gotta rock paper scissors shoot, bro, to, to see like who gets home field advantage. I, I gotta be honest with you, bro. As a matter of fact, bro, let me invite you to my party, <laughs> bro. That's how I'm finesse. Bro, listen, that's how I'm finesse. If I'm ever playing somebody, whatever, bro. Yeah, bro, you gotta come to my party, bro. Yeah, I'm not coming to your party. You gotta come to my party, so I can have home field advantage, bro. Because that stuff is legit real. Home field advantage in this game is so real, it's crazy. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Um, those are some of the things that I, I didn't like about the game. Some of the things that I did like about the game is, bro, it's very fluid. It's very easy to play. Um, it looks bad, bro. It looks absolutely gorgeous, bro. Um, and, and other than that, bro, like it, it's legit. Like a, it, it's a mix between real and like arcade. And I really love it, man. Comment down below. What do you guys think about it? Name some things that you guys do like and don't like about the game. Make sure you guys like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you guys are new, I'll see you guys in the next time out. And.